fifth episode of Hot 5 and 5. I'll be your host of the week, Mr. Red Minecraft. Hot 5 and 5 is the best source of the five latest and greatest gaming stories of the week in five minutes or less. Without further ado, let's get right into it. At their 25th anniversary party for Sonic the Hedgehog during Comic-Con San Diego, Sega has announced their two new upcoming Sonic titles. The first being Sonic Mania, a revisit to classic retro 2D Sonic games in association with Christian Whitehead, Headcanon, and Pagoda West Games. The game will be coming to PS4, PC, and Xbox One spring 2017. Also, Sega announced that the team that created Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors is working on a brand new Sonic 3D title. The game is codenamed Project Sonic 2017 and it appears to be in a more apocalyptic setting, similar to the wasteland Silver came from in Sonic 06. Classic Sonic is also teaming up with Modern Sonic again, however the project isn't a sequel to Generations. Project Sonic 2017 is set to release Holiday 2017 on PS4, PC, Xbox One, and NX. New news about Nintendo's mysterious NX has arisen. The console is rumored to be a portable handheld with controller sticks on both sides that can detach. The center will feature a large screen, however the base will be able to be plugged into a TV for a larger screen via dock station. Compared to other current generation consoles, the NX doesn't appear to be as powerful. Nintendo is potentially using Nvidia's mobile processor, Tegra, 32GB cartridges, and a new operating system. Also, likely due to the change from discs to cartridges, the NX isn't planned to feature backwards compatibility. Nintendo has yet to say anything in regards to these rumors, as the release date for the console is still far away in March 2017. The third story this week is kind of a different one since they both revolve around the same thing. The first one is Nintendo has delayed the Pokemon Plus accessory. It was set to release by the end of July and has now been pushed back to the end of September. If you had pre-purchased it in Nintendo UK's official shop, then you should have received an email with either a way to cancel the pre-purchase or to keep it. For those who decide to keep it, you will receive a $5 off your next purchase of $30 or more. To be clear, this is only in Nintendo UK's official shop. The accessory alerts you of Pokemon near you without you having to walk around with your phone out all the time. The second part of this story is about things to come out for the app Pokemon Go. John Hankey, the CEO of Niantic, has told an audience at Comic-Con that the company has probably only released around 10% of the features they had planned for the game. The company plans to add trading, which is one of the most anticipated features being added to the game. Legendary Pokemon will be available during special events, and Pokestops will possibly act more like a Poke Center where you will be able to heal Pokemon. Hanky has also confirmed that there are other hidden tricks in the game similar to the Eevee evolutions. Before any of these new features come out, they need to make sure their servers are stable first. The long wait has come to an end. All speculations and rumors are put aside as the Halo Wars 2 story video released via 343 Industries straight from the Comic-Con reveal of the inside story and development of the RTS sequel. Halo Wars 2 delivering real-time strategy at the speed of first-person combat, alike to its successor Halo Wars, which redefined the real-time strategy genre back in 2009, will bring its decades of RTS experience to the Halo universe, and will also include online multiplayer, and in addition to the campaign, will also include many skill-testing game modes including Skirmish, Strongholds, and Domination. Halo Wars 2 is estimated to be released February 21st, 2017 for the Xbox One and PC consoles. After years of conjecture and hearsay, Bethesda announces at E3 2016, Prey is not a sequel, it is not a remake, it has no tie with the original. He says in the video, which was recorded in June at E3, you have to look at it like a reimagining of the IP. Although Prey was not a huge hit, it seems as if it will fall in line with Arkane's previous releases, including Dishonored and Arx Fatalis. Arkane also explained, it's not just shooting, it's more like a hybrid game, where narrative meets with action meets with a little bit of RPG layer. You have some weapons, but you also have lots of other things, meaning there is much to await. Prey is currently slated for release sometime in 2017. There isn't much more to see, but you can always see what's up at the official website, prey.bethesda.net. That's it for this week's news. Leaving a rating down below is very appreciated, along with any sort of feedback in the comments section. If you missed last week's news, click now to check it out. New episodes are released every Friday, so make sure to subscribe and check back next week for more info on recent news. This is Mr. Red Minecraft signing off. Peace out.